Intuitive Surgical stock is up 4% today after some positive analyst comments. But Herb Greenberg is here with more on the controversy surrounding the company's robotic surgical device. Herb. Thanks, Brian. Intuitive Surgical has been a Wall Street favorite for years, rising over 4,000% since going public 13 years ago. The stock's performance can be attributed to several factors. Revolutionary technology that allows a surgeon to per perform minimally invasive surgery while controlling the robot's arms from as far as 10 feet away. A creative and what some might say and some would say, uh, some critics say, is an aggressive marketing campaign that has made the Da Vinci a must-have tool for hospitals. All of this has helped the robot gain widespread accept acceptance in procedures ranging from prostatectomies to hysterectomies and today even gallbladder surgery. But as CNBC Investigations Inc. has learned, some critics have been raising a red flag about the safety of robotic surgery. Francois Bludeau, uh, both a gynecological surgeon and an attorney, spoke to me recently about his pending litigation against Intuitive Surgical. Bludeau claims a big problem with the robot lies with the electrical energy the robot uses. This energy coming through the robot, coming through the arm of the robot, through the belly of the patient, to the tip of the instrument, and that there were some defects in the insulation of the arms, and also a defect in this wristed area of the instrument that was causing inadvertent burns to occur that sometimes the surgeon wouldn't even see. Sean Todd is one of Bluto's clients who told me she suffered burns to her ureters and bladder after a routine partial hysterectomy. The complications only became evident when she wasn't able to urinate properly and was rushed into the emergency room for emergency surgery a week after the original procedure. He said, um, Ms. Todd, your kidneys have backed up. And I said, well, is it kind of like your rhythmic poison, you know, going through my body? And he said, no, ma'am, you're septic. He said, your other organs are starting to shut down. It was a nightmare. It's something that I will never forget. But for other surgeons like Dr. Ashutosh Tiwari, regarded as one of the world's leading experts in prostate surgery and robotics, the Da Vinci is his surgical tool of choice. The vision compensated for everything and in fact, I mean, if you look at it from a surgical standpoint, every surgeon's dream is to get to see exactly what he or she is doing, get to do it in a field which is not pooled with a lot of blood. We've been digging into both sides of the Da Vinci debate, and arguments for both sides are prominent. But the critics' voices are getting louder. As I mentioned uh, here last week, the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists released a statement saying robotic surgery is not the only or the best minimally invasive approach for hysterectomy, nor is it the most cost efficient. Intuitive Surgical has declined to comment on any pending litigation. But regarding the claims of problems with the energy the robot uses uh, in its instruments using monopolar energy, uh, uh, the company says they've been used in open and laparoscopic surgery for decades, and the company is confident that the Da Vinci surgical system deploys monopolar energy in a safe and effective way when used as indicated. We will continue to look into the Da Vinci debate, and we, we will have more going forward. Uh, Mandy, back to you. Very interesting report. Thank you very much for that.